Hey guys, Eric Gorno here with Performance Golf. To my left, Miss Erica Larkin, Golf Digest Top 50 coach, ranked the best coach in the state of Virginia, yes. I believe I saw as well. So pleasure to have Erica here with us today. And in today's video, we're talking about how you can have a hands-free golf swing. Now, I know that sounds kind of crazy. How the heck can you make a golf swing without your hands? They're actually on the club. But I think what's important here, Erica, is that we don't want the hands to be controlling the golf swing. Yes. We want them to be going along for the ride. And in today's video, Erica's gonna show us a couple of little things that you can do in your practice to get your swing, get that effortless golf swing that we're all looking for. Erica, if you could take a, yeah, sure. our setup here and kind of if you could run us through, I know you have a couple of techniques that you use with your students yep. on how they can learn how to take the hands more out of the golf swing. Yeah, I think it's proving to yourself that you don't need to use your hands in the golf swing. So I like to say you have to give up control to get control. And sometimes when we really directly manipulate with our hands, it just makes things work. We actually rob ourselves of speed and we just end up twisting the face, releasing early, holding on, blocking the release. I mean, there's so many things that are related to using the hands too much yeah. at Not the good. wrong moments, right. at the wrong moments, you know. Um, so for that, we have to prove to ourselves how we can make a swing without, quote unquote, using our hands. They mm. are going to be followers. They are going to be holding on and at some level just reacting to our swing and I call it being passively active. The hands are definitely mm. going to be doing some job. They have to hold the club, but they're going to be more reacting. So this is a few, there's a few variations on this. We're going to go through a few different ones, yes, but yeah. I have some grip tests, grip tricks, if you will, that we're going to use to, to show our golf swing that we don't need to use our hands directly. So we're going to take some fingers off the grip. We're going to start with you're gonna love this one because it's the I love you sign, okay? okay? We're gonna only use our middle two fingers to hold on to the club with our trail hand. So that's my right hand. Um, my pinky can stick up, or if you wanna try to put it down gently, it's okay. But those are really the main two fingers that are gonna just re remain on the club with that trail hand. So getting comfortable being able to actually make a swing without your pointer finger, your thumb, or your pinky on the club it's kind of different. You realize, gosh, I can't use my right hand so much to do anything. It's there, but it's, it's not able to manipulate so much when you take those fingers off. So then I would really challenge you to hit a few balls, start with some short swings, keep the position intact, and you'll be able to make some contact. You'll surprise yourself at how good contact you can make yeah. with only two fingers on the golf club with that hand. Another variation on this one, which is pretty cool, do the double guns, okay? So here's double guns. You're gonna take your hands on the club, but you're gonna make basically just point the gun, okay? Pointer and thumb are gonna be up and off on both hands. So oh, okay. you might have to kind of take a baseball grip to do this one. So now my pinky's on, so double guns, okay? And we're gonna go back and forth. This one definitely feels, this is like leveling up now. This is a little harder. Like a stage two. The stage two. Okay. If you can do the first one and move on to this one. So we're gonna give it a try here. Definitely a little harder. It's almost like I could feel my, my left thumb <laughs> wanted to find the grip, but try to resist the urge to grip on mid-swing yeah. and help anything happen. So double guns is really a great variation. Last but not least, and this one is just another version, you can just do the good old peace sign, okay? Two fingers out, leave the thumb on. And this is just another version of kind of the first one, but it's just, see which one you like the best. See which one works good yeah. for you. So we'll do one more there, just to show you all three options. So here's my peace sign. Two fingers out on that right hand. We're gonna hit one like this. Nice. So I'm going nice and easy. You can work up to a fuller swing, but I think just to make a half or three quarters swing and show yourself that you don't need all that tension and pressure and manipulation, uh, that's a, it's a big moment, a uh, aha moment for a lot of golfers to experience this. Yeah, I could, I could imagine. Yeah. And I know before, I want to try some of those, but before I hop in, I know there's also a visual that I saw you doing sort of like with the pendulum. Does that play into with this and how the grip pressure works at all? Yes. So, um, Basically, I mean, think about it, right? A, a true pendulum model is the weight hanging on the end of a stick or a rope. And if I wanted to get a pendulum swinging, I really only need just two fingers on the club just to pinch it and takes very little you know, effort to get this thing swinging. And then it almost kind of swings itself once you get it into motion. Yeah. So there's not a lot of effort 
or again, hands doing much to get that club swinging in a relatively big pattern. I mean, if I just get some momentum going and I'm still only have two fingers on the club, it doesn't take much. The difference, just as a, a juxtaposition to this, if I grip with my whole hand and squeeze tightly and now try to get the club moving, there's no swing here. It's oh, yeah. totally just tense here. Everything is kind of locked in with my wrist. I'm, I'm squeezing onto the club purposefully tight just to yeah. you know, really create that awareness that this is not how we swing the club. This is total manipulation. And I just feel like it takes a lot more actual muscle energy from my arms to lift the club into space. Totally. So, you know, less is more here. Let's just yeah. do the least amount of work possible and, and really facilitate how we can create a swinging motion that is going to take care of generating and automating that speed uh, and that fluidity that, that's going to produce really consistent solid shots. Yeah, I love that, Eric. Obviously, when I do this and how little effort that feels like that takes and then immediately as I was just trying holding it on and having my arm go I feel how much effort that is and it sort of makes me think of the people that we work with right the people that are watching this video yeah. and obviously we have a lot of people that come in that say you know I'm really putting a lot of effort into this swing I feel like I'm really trying hard and I'm not getting a lot out and the reality is we have people who have a lot of shoulder problems they've got different back problems different injuries that all that effort just compounds those doesn't make yeah. it easier Whereas I think what we're talking about, if you guys can put some of this into your swing as well, if you have those nagging injuries, this is gonna make the golf swing in the game a lot easier. Yeah, sometimes people create injury, they invite injury by doing mm. so much pushing and pulling on the club because they're just engaged so much in awkward positions on the way down. Totally. And so that totally proves that point is we don't wanna create these you know, awkward moments that are creating stress on our body, stress on our joints. We wanna move naturally in a way that's that's natural to, to you, to your body. Yeah. So for that reason, as, as how your arm wants to fold up and unfold, like let it move the way it wants to move. Mm -hmm. uh, good things will happen when you do that and you don't push the club around. I'm trying to uh, you're, force it. You're really, again, you're forcing it and you're, you're essentially moving the club off plane the more you manipulate. Yeah, there's that, usually that's another conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me, I'm dying okay. to try some of these, Eric. Let yes. me hop in there. So, okay, so let's go through some of these. And I haven't done these before. The first one we did was the heart. Yep. Okay, right, so I've got. Yep. Now, am I doing, is that just the trail hand that's off, or this is gonna be both? It's trail hand, so the pinky and the forefinger are off, just okay. like that. There's your I love you sign. I love you. Okay. Perfect. Yep, I know Let's it's, it's tempting to wanna hook that pinky. Leave it off there. Oh, yeah. There okay, you go. Yeah. <laughs> no that cheating. starts creeping in there right away. <laughs> and my thumb is off yeah. as well? Okay, thumb is off. Yep, just two fingers. And so obviously, as we're doing this, yep. So like my immediate senses here are, I can feel the weight of the club more, mm -hmm. that's for sure. My grip pressure feels very neutral, I'm definitely not tense. Yeah. And I feel the need for my body to move. Yes, because you can't use your hand. I'm not. So there, there's yeah. no, yeah, the minute you start to try to grab onto the club, you're actually probably under utilizing your body, right? So get mm. the body moving. Okay, so this is off here. And I'm just doing sort of like a little slow one here. Start, got that pinky. Out of habit. Keep yeah, the right. Pinky off. Keep it the just pinky wants off. to hook on. Here we go. Oh yeah. You okay. did it. So noticeably, I've never done that before. Noticeably, I feel the need for my body to move. Like especially on the way down and through. When you guys do this and do this now, if you're sitting watching this, try this out and feel how much. Especially Erica, I could feel it on the way back for sure. But gosh, I really feel on the way through. Yeah, my sort of bigger muscles, body moving. Arms are relaxed, so the pinky and the index yeah. finger and thumb now are Now you're off. trusting it. Now I can yeah. see you're relaxing into it. Yeah, and those, and those feel really good. Like, I'm, I was a little, I don't know if I was gonna hit those or not. <laughs> those feel really good. Yeah, it's a little nerve wracking because, you know, you're, you have to trust that the swing is gonna take care of business. It's not your hands taking care of business. The swing. Okay, the and then we did the um, peace sign yeah. with third. So double guns. Double so guns. just imagine okay. both hands, you're making two guns like this. So now you, you can Pinkies get this in. one on. Okay. There you go. <laughs> okay, That's so it. These are off Thumbs spot. off, four fingers off. And this is like a slightly more advanced, oh yeah. Oh yeah, okay. So you made this look very easy. Even the glove, easy the glove pointer that. finger too. This uh. one here? Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm really putting you through the ringer yeah, today. This one I can feel. So if I felt the first one as like a, yeah, maybe I felt it five or six out of 10. This feels like eight or nine out of 10. Yeah, it's harder yeah, for okay. sure. Gosh, what a nice way to feel <laughs> the hands out. Like, honestly, let me just hit a little button with this. So this you got is, it. You this got is it. out and this is out. Best shot of the day. <laughs> I, I, 
you know, I think all of us when we're watching videos and see drills and stuff, or at least I am somewhat inherently like skeptical yeah. about how things work or not. This is of the things I've done, you know, over the past 15 years, feels like the most direct, while it seems very simple, underneath all that feels like that's doing like 20 different things for free. Right. Yeah. Right. Like I'm feeling a lot of really learning how to get my body moving with just a really simple drill. So just yeah. for the sake of time, let's say I would do that a couple more times. Now I'm doing the two you fingers piece, off. Yep. This is the thing about these different grip positions is you come up with your own. I just want you to feel like you could be playful with this and explore and come yeah. up with your own hand positions. It doesn't really matter. It's just about giving up that control of using your hands too much. Yeah, gosh, that was beautiful that too. And what you might find is maybe all of a sudden a little bit of a, a hook miss starts to develop, a hook uh, tendency or pattern starts to show itself. Yeah. Like if you're somebody that is a slicer and leaves the face open, when you actually let go with your fingers, it, it'll help facilitate a more natural release. All of a sudden you might start turning the ball over. Like you hit one of those a little bit more left. Yeah. That's part of when you start, stop using your, your right hand so much in this case, okay? That when you swing through and use your body, the club releases more naturally. And so for somebody that's been blocking that and pulling and holding the face open, all of a sudden, you know, they have to let it go to be able to even make contact yeah. with these drills. So to your point, there's, you know, double, triple bonuses of doing this as a test, as a little playful experiment on the driving range or just even into a net in the backyard. You know, oh. you don't need to be worried about perfect ball flight. It's about can you make contact and and can you coordinate this and just start to build trust that you can use your hands a lot less than you've been using them. I love it. It's, it's sort of an interesting middle ground for me when I'm doing those drills of like, I feel like I'm using my body a lot more, yet it feels way easier. Less force, less effort, and my arms and hands are doing significantly less. And I think you'll feel those same things when you do it. Maybe you use those even as a warm up just to start to get some feels as you're going. You know, do your reps as usual. I think the beauty of this and the beauty of Erica's uh, system that she put in the true swing, which we're gonna tell you more as soon as this is over, there's a lot of things like this that on the surface level seem pretty simple and they are simple, but there's so many things underneath that they do for you for free that don't require you to have a lot of force effort and a million different swing thoughts. So I think uh, let us, we're going to tell them a little bit about how they can get that system here Sounds next. Great. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's videos. I had a blast doing those with Erica. Like I mentioned, her true swing sequence, I think is awesome. I watched all the videos and they were absolutely killer. Not only do you get an unbelievable deal, I mean, 47 bucks for that, come on, but you get unbelievable bonuses as well. That's her on course program. You get unlimited swing reviews. So Erica and her team can guide you through step-by-step -step this entire process that's ridiculous and also her mental game program and live Q&A and not only do you get all of that included with the program you also get a 365 day money back guarantee so there's literally no risk here for you to try this I'm telling you're gonna love it we're gonna put the link in the first link in the description down below you won't regret trying it out